On today's show, we have a very special guest with us, Father Wade Menezes of the Fathers of Mercy, here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Welcome to EWTN Religious Catalog. I'm Emily LaSusa, and today I'm excited to be joined by a wonderful friend of EWTN, Father Wade Menezes of the Fathers of Mercy. I am delighted to have you here today, Father. Thank you so much, Emily. It's great to be with you today on the set of EWTN Religious Catalog, and I'm excited to talk about these great items, especially during this year of St. Joseph and with Father's Day coming up. Today we have some wonderful holy reminders for men, as Father said in preparation for Father's Day. What better patron for men than the great Saint Joseph? The Holy Father has dedicated this year to Saint Joseph, so we are celebrating him all year long. Here's a Saint Joseph the Worker statue from the Renaissance Collection. This handsome statue shows Saint Joseph in his carpentry apron with the tools of his trade. Saint Joseph is held up as a model of work, and we remember that in particular on May the 1st, the Feast of Saint Joseph the Worker. What a great reminder for men this statue is, that Saint Joseph is the strong and just one, the man of valor. This is a great reminder for men of any vocation and state in life. And let us not forget Saint Joseph's title, Terror of Demons. He is a true protector of virtue, of women, and of culture the masculine genius so needed today. St. Joseph may be the silent one in scripture, but silence does not mean weak. He was the guardian of the Redeemer and the beloved spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. That's right, Father. I just love how St. Joseph is depicted here, strong and in the prime of life. The statue measures 10 and a quarter inches high. What a treasured gift this would be. Here's a great item to stand on your desk or a shelf. It's a Saint Joseph and the Infant Jesus diptych. It features a gorgeous 19th century image of Saint Joseph and the child Jesus and a prayer, both affixed to an arched wood diptych with a gloss finish. The prayer is written in a very nice font and it reads, Glorious Patriarch Saint Joseph, whose power makes the impossible possible. Come to my aid in these times of anguish and difficulty Take under your protection the serious and troubling situations that I commend to you, that they may have a happy outcome. My beloved Father, all my trust is in you. Let it not be said that I invoked you in vain, and since you can do everything with Jesus and Mary, show me that your goodness is as great as your power. Saint Joseph, patron of the Universal Church, pray for us, amen. Emily, what a beautiful prayer this is wanting to put ourselves under the protection of St. Joseph, especially in times of difficulty and anguish, temptation even. St. Joseph himself experienced anguish and difficulties. For example, his uncertainty at first about Mary's pregnancy, then the flight into Egypt to escape Herod's army. That's right. This diptych measures six by eight inches when it's open and it's made in the USA. I really like this particular image of St. Joseph Father. And we have several new products featuring this image. And my favorites are a garden flag and also a mug. And again, they're all new. Next, we have a super fun St. Joseph and Son t-shirt. It's perfect for the feast of St. Joseph the Worker coming up on May the 1st. It says, St. Joseph and Son, Carpentry and Intercession over 2,000 years experience, we answer when you call. The very fine print reads, licensed and bonded in Bethlehem, Nazareth, and Capernaum. I like the 50s style advertisement of this father-son team, woodworking skills and their spiritual help. And what a great design concept this is. And at the same time, it's a message of evangelization. I love it. It can be worn by a singular person or as a team, such as a father and son. Or how about an entire extended family of men wearing it for a family reunion, like the Lasusa reunion, <laughs> huh? or the Lunsford That's reunion? Right. Or how about making this t-shirt part of a uniform for an entire men's baseball team? I think it's great. I love that idea. The t-shirt is made of 50% cotton and 50% polyester, so it's a durable, long 
long-lasting shirt to wear at home, school, and outdoors. It's a terrific gift too, I think, Father, for a husband, dad, or son. It certainly is. C.S. Lewis once said, you can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me. If the man you're buying for would agree to that statement, then I think this mug would be the perfect gift idea. And we'll get to those great and long books here in just a moment. But this pottery mug proudly celebrates a man of strength. The size is generous at 20 ounces and the sturdy one and a quarter inch wide handle makes for a very secure grip. It's a great size for a man's hand. The ceramic mug is painted a steel gray with a brown clay base. And it has a patch on the front here that reads man of strength. The reverse of the mug reads Blessed is the man whose goodness, honesty, and strength of character lead him to defend what he believes in with certainty and to stand up for others wholeheartedly. There's also a verse from Holy Scripture that reads, I can do all things through him who strengthens me from Philippians 4.13. You know, Emily, it's interesting that the Latin word for male is vir, V-I-R, the very root from which we get the word virtue from. And virtus in Latin means power, strength, or ability. In other words, to be manly is precisely to be virtuous. What a great message for today's culture, huh? This unique mug conveys these important truths. Wow, that is so beautiful, Father. This mug measures five inches high and it's microwave and dishwasher safe. I'll hand it to you, Father, so you can get a feel for that. You know, I love my morning cup of Java, <laughs> and I love a lot of it. Oh, and this is, this is great to hold that amount that I like in the morning. We have a whole series of these mugs as well, and they all say man of, and they're all pottery mugs for all the men in your life. We have a man of courage, man of wisdom, and man of integrity, and all of those are available on EWTNRC.com. And Emily, for a family of multiple men, what a great idea to get that entire set of Man of mugs. They're all so great. I love the different colors that each mug has as well. Well, now we want to show you some wonderful resources to encourage any man to the high calling, which is theirs. The first is this excellent book, Manual for Men, written by the most reverend Thomas J. Olmsted, Bishop of the Diocese of Phoenix. This manual is for men who are in the arena, warriors for Christ and his church. There is truly a battle for our souls, our families, our world. And our Lord calls men in particular, Father, to fight. That's right, indeed. This is a prayer manual that should be part of every man's spiritual arsenal in a day and age when the culture is so challenging to virtue and virtuous living. Its size makes it convenient to carry in your car, your briefcase, or in the interior pocket of your sports coat. It's a great prayer book to have with you, for example, while making a visit to the Most Blessed Sacrament while on your lunch break from work. The book itself, it's bound in an ultra soft leatherette cover with a bold heraldic lion embossed on the front. It also has gilded pages, and I really like when uh, books have a ribbon page marker. That's you don't right. have to go looking for a bookmark. It's right there for you. And it has very nice uh, size font as well. Into the Breach on DVD is a groundbreaking, powerful 12 episode video series from the Knights of Columbus. It was inspired by Bishop Thomas J. Olmsted's apostolic exhortation to Catholic men into the breach. It tells men that they're made for greatness and challenges them to achieve it by founding their lives on God and pursuing heroic virtue. Emily, this DVD serves as a fantastic tool for a home retreat by an individual man or even for a group of men who may get together weekly inside the parish hall for fellowship. The subject matter is challenging. It's a battle call for each man to become the best version of himself, whether married, single, or as a consecrated religious man within his daily lived experience of family, friendship, prayer, work, and recreation. Each of the episodes explores a core theme, such as brotherhood, leadership, fatherhood, and spiritual warfare. The series features more than 50 compelling speakers, including Bishop Olmsted himself, former MLB player Mike Sweeney, theologian Dr. Scott Hahn, and many more. A lot of guys are like, I'd be willing to die for that, but they're not willing to live for it. And guess what? If you're not willing to live for it, you probably won't have what it takes to die for it. 
Every man needs to walk into that breach and begin to fight that battle, which means you've got to know the power of the Eucharist, the power of prayer. If you're not willing to fight for the truth, what will you fight for? And the answer is oftentimes nothing. It's so important, Father, to affirm these men in our lives and tell them how much that we appreciate, admire, and love them. And what better time than Father's Day to do that? Mm. And with this pack of six cards, you can share that love with your husband, father, grandfather, godfather, brother, your parish priest. Don't forget the parish priest. <laughs> no, <laughs> any man who has made a difference in your life. Each greeting card features a rustic painting of the Holy Family with a quote from St. Jose Maria Escriva at the top. Be firm, be strong, be a man, and then be a saint. Mm, great quote. The cards are blank on the inside. I'll just show you that real quick. And I really like how St. Joseph here, Father, is holding the baby Jesus while our Blessed Mother gets some rest here in the background. Much needed rest, I <laughs> <Yes>. might add. <laughs> Yes, Emily, the front of this greeting card surely depicts the fatherly, tender side of the guardian of the Redeemer. And I believe that the sending of a greeting card shows just a little more care than the sending of, say, only a quick email on Father's <laughs> Day, does. doesn't it? Taking more time to write a little something inside of the card and affixing a postage stamp to it and mailing it seems to show a little more attentiveness to the man you send it to. It does. And there are six cards, again, with envelopes in this pack. They measure five by seven inches. And if you like this image as much as I do, we also have it featured on this fatherhood mug. This is a large 15 ounce ceramic mug emphasizing the sacred fatherhood of St. Joseph. The mug features the words, fatherhood, the toughest job you'll ever love. Another great quote. <laughs> In a military stencil style font front and center. And then I'll turn it here so you can see again that beautiful image of a manly St. Joseph cradling the child Jesus while the Blessed Mother gets in a little bit of extra rest. The mug is microwave and dishwasher safe too, Father. That's great. And you know, to give the mug in person, you might want to give the matching greeting card with it since they're a set. Yes, it's wonderful if you're able to spend some time with your dad or your loved one during that time and show them that extra attention and Absolutely. care. We have a special bundle next made up of two powerful tools for your family. The first is the book, Leaving Boyhood Behind, Reclaiming Catholic Brotherhood. Author Jason Craig tackles the question, what makes a man? This is a question many men in our society today just don't feel equipped to answer because they were never initiated into manhood themselves. They don't know how to pass on authentic manliness to their sons, so boys get stuck in unending adolescence. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this is caused by a cultural crisis of manhood in today's society. For example, an increase in the divorce rate, fatherless homes and the like. But in reality, married men are called to be the priest of the home, the Christ figure of the home, to ward off evil from the home, for example. And sons look to their fathers for that dedicated manly example. I don't think that's any secret. It's something important to get out in a message. This is a great book for fathers to read and to pass on to their sons who are in their late adolescent years and older. In the five-part mini-series, Rites of Passage, Leaving Boyhood Behind, Jason Craig leads viewers through each stage of initiation into manhood, drawing on the wisdom of ancient rites of passage and lessons from classical literature and culture. This mini-series provides not only a theological angle to this topic, but also a literary and historical cultural one as well. Sacred Scripture calls us to profess the truth in love and grow to full maturity in Christ the Head. That's Ephesians 4, 15. This is a great series for fathers and sons to watch together and then to have a conversation about after each episode. It's so important and so very needed. The DVD contains two discs. It has a total running time of two and a half hours, just packed with so much that will help your family. And if we as Catholic men can't point the way within our faith, within the church, if we can't say this is what it means, this is what it looks like, they're going to go find another path that they perceive to masculinity away from us, away from church, and therefore away from Christ and who they really are. 
The program is closed captioned for the hearing impaired, and you'll save $20 when you purchase both Jason Craig's book, Leaving Boyhood Behind, and that EWTN original miniseries, Rites of Passage, Leaving Boyhood Behind together. Just great material, Emily, especially during the Shear of St. Joseph yes. and with Father's Day approaching. Yes. The Feast of Our Lady of Good Counsel is this week on April the 26th. Our Lady's final words in the Bible, recorded in the Gospel of John, are, do whatever he tells you. What better advice could each of us follow? Here is a gorgeous framed image of Our Lady of Good Counsel. The Latin words that you see around the halos translates to, most holy mother of good counsel, pray for us to Jesus, your son. It is said that our Blessed Mother, Emily, has over 2,600 titles. Amazing, huh? This is one of them, Our Lady of Good Counsel, and it's an important one. Our Blessed Mother has one goal, to lead us more closely to her divine Son, just like she said at the wedding feast of Cana, words you just alluded to. Through her motherly counsel and wisdom, she shows us the way. Devotion to Our Lady of Good Counsel is important to help foster faithfulness and commitment to one's daily duties. The image here is printed on heavy, high quality textured art board, and it's framed in a beautiful gold frame with a beaded inner border. It measures 16 and a half inches by 13 and a half inches, and it's ready to hang. To expand your devotion to Mary, the great St. Louis de Montfort's work on Our Blessed Mother are a great resource to get started with. We have this classic, True Devotion to Mary, on audiobook CD. True Devotion to Mary is the perfect spirituality for our day and time. It's arguably the single greatest book on Marian devotion ever to be written. St. Louis de Montfort makes the bold claim that it is the surest, the easiest, the shortest, and the most perfect way of going to Jesus. Indeed, Emily, this is a spiritual classic, and we Fathers of Mercy renew our Marian consecration annually. And this particular consecration is taught by St. Louis de Montfort, is one that many of us follow. In fact, growing up as a young boy, I remember my mother always ending our daily family rosary with the words, all for Jesus through Mary, amen. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until my early 20s that I realized this was part of my mother's own devotion to the St. Louis de Montfort consecration to Our Lady. This consecration to Our Blessed Mother is meant for everyone, singles, marrieds, widows and widowers, priests and consecrated religious. We all have so much to gain in the spiritual life from Our Blessed Mother's guidance and protection. Truly. The audiobook is read by Johnette Williams. The set has five audio CDs with over five hours of great, beautiful content on Our Blessed Mother. Of course, we also have a paperback edition of this profound work as well. If you prefer to read your book, have it in your lap, have that cup of tea, and you can find the paperback edition on EWTNRC.com. This week, we remember the great woman doctor of the church, St. Catherine of Siena, with this book, The Dialogue of St. Catherine of Siena. St. Catherine wrote this masterpiece of spiritual literature while in a state of ecstasy with God. She saw herself as the soul in conversation with God the Father. In it, the Eternal Father stresses the importance of cultivating virtue, praying continuously, and acting in obedience to God and one's superiors. Another spiritual classic, Emily. I love St. Catherine of Siena. I affectionately refer to her as one of my girlfriends <laughs> in heaven. I love her life and her writings precisely because she is one of the saints of the church who wrote about the importance of self-knowledge in the spiritual life. We need to know ourselves, right? For example, what mm -hmm. virtues are we strong in and why? And what can we do to advance those virtues? And what vices are we strong in and why? And what can we do to begin to uproot those vices out of our life, right? In one point in the dialogue, in fact, God the Father says to St. Catherine, my daughter, never leave the knowledge of yourself. Then you will discover and know me in yourself. And from that knowledge, you will draw all that you need to grow in holiness. Wow, what wisdom and what a spiritual powerhouse is Catherine of Siena. Mother Angelica, of course, reminded us all that we're all called to be great saints. Amen. Books like the ones in the bundle I'm going to show you next, they help us not to miss any opportunity for growth in holiness. 
This is a spiritual warfare book set we have for you from author Paul Thigpen. First is the Manual for Spiritual Warfare. It's a guide for spiritual warriors to help you recognize, resist, and overcome the devil's incessant attacks. It's divided into two parts, preparing for battle to help you identify and understand this fight, and aids in battle with resources to protect your soul and fight this battle. It has a soft binding, silver gilded edges, and a ribbon page marker as well. Again, I love that so that you can take it with you. It's very similar to the other one we showed you earlier, Father, that you can just carry with you to adoration or right. have with you and just pick up where you left off in your prayer. And that's just a beautiful um, thing to have with you. Absolutely. You know, a, a manual is a good thing, Emily. A manual mm -hmm. tells us how to use the thing appropriately, whatever that might be, and how to keep it from getting damaged, right? Well, just as we need a manual for our new car, a new kitchen appliance, or a new stereo or alarm system, we need a dedicated manual for our body-soul composite. You know, it's interesting that St. Thomas Aquinas teaches that we don't have bodies, we are bodies. And we don't have souls, we are souls. This is how intimate and intricate the body-soul compositeness is in the human person, and so both body and soul need to be attended to. This manual for spiritual warfare guides us in that precise, important task. I love the two parts of this manual, Emily, preparing for battle, like the importance of regular Eucharist and confession in our lives, and aids in battle, like particular prayers for special needs at certain times. And also from Paul Thigpen, we have the book, Saints Who Battled Satan, 17 Holy Warriors Who Can Teach You How to Fight the Good Fight and Vanquish This Ancient Enemy. Author Paul Thigpen does a masterful job in relating to his readers not only what particular issues, dependencies, and or addictions some of the saints have suffered from, but he also relays the truth that Satan can particularly tempt us when he knows we've made it back on track to the path of virtue and holiness. Emily, here is what we hold in common with the saints, and I can't say this enough. The saints lived in the modern world of their time, just as we live in the modern world of our time. If they can do it, we can do it. And that's a positive message. They are our role models for today. The lives of the saints should thus be a part and parcel with any seriously attempted prayer life and spiritual life. That's so true, Father. I know my faith was fostered so much and still is by sure. reading the lives of the saints. Absolutely. It just gave me such hope that, okay, I can do this. I can try with God's grace. And that was such a gift and it continues to be. And think of the baptismal names, the confirmation names. Yes. We look to the saints constantly. We do. We lay claim to those, their saints, those virtues and say, we Absolutely. can do it yeah. for a limited time. You can get these two books at a special discounted price when you buy them together. And I want to close today's show with a sampling of our guests' great contributions to the growth of our spiritual life. And I just want to say, Father, when you're talking about body, soul, composite, I just, I will never forget that because I heard you talk about it so many times over the years. And I just, it comes to my mind frequently. And I love that idea. We are bodies. We are souls. It's an important teaching that shows us the dignity of the human person made in God's image and likeness. It is. And I think it's, it, that is a special thing that you have taught us. And I think many on EWTN would recognize that and know that we have benefited and learned so much from Father over the years. Well, first we have an audio CD set of homilies and talks, which were given by Father Wade on retreat. It's called Work Out Your Salvation. Yes, Emily, this is my catechetical CD set on what I call the theology of faithfulness to daily duty in five dedicated steps. Be faithful to your daily duty, be other-centered, understand the reality of vice and virtue, practice and live the sacraments, and live a Trinitarian spirituality. This is a great home retreat for all vocations and states in life that has proven to be one of my most popular parish missions and or retreats that I preach live across the United States, Canada, and Australia. Our personal growth in sanctity and the spiritual life begins right where we are in our faithfulness to daily duty, whether single, married, or as a consecrated religious. The set contains three audio CDs with over three and a half hours of content. And here is another great set. The Four Last Things book and DVD set, 
Why don't you tell us about this one, Father? Certainly, Emily. The Four Last Things is a catechetical guide to the church's teaching on death, judgment, heaven, and hell. In other words, a study of the church's eschatology from the Greek word eschatos, meaning the last. There are four last things, but three of which will apply to each one of us personally, huh? Death, judgment, heaven, or hell. So in this book and DVD series, I encourage my listeners to be eternity-minded. In it, I cover such topics as the particular judgment and the general judgment, the last rites, including the apostolic pardon and the awesome mercy of God. The DVD comes on two discs. It has a total of two and a half hours of programming, and it's been closed captioned again for the hearing impaired. And the book is The Four Last Things. And when you purchase the set, you'll save 35% when you get them together. And now we want to show you a recap of all the items we showed you today and the information on how to order them. The St. Joseph the Worker statue is item number 41398 for $38. The St. Joseph and Infant Jesus diptych is item number D4196 for $22. The St. Joseph and Son t-shirt is item number A P P T T C one E for twenty dollars. The Man of Strength mug is item number five six eight zero five for sixteen dollars. The book Manual for Men is item number two six four eight for thirty dollars. The DVD Into the Breach is item number three zero eight one D for $10. The Be Firm, Be Strong pack of six Father's Day cards is item number FD610X for $9.95. And the Fatherhood Mug is item number M610 for $15. Leaving Boyhood Behind book and DVD special bundle is item number T1959K for $24.95. The Our Lady of Good Counsel image is item number 9284 for $39. True Devotion to Mary on audio CD is item number WOG11 for $36. The book Dialogue of St. Catherine of Siena is item number TC150 for $12.95. The Spiritual Warfare Set is item number 8444K for $39.95. The CD set Work Out Your Salvation is item number LM. 1, 2, C, for $20. The Four Last Things book and DVD set is item number 80428K for $25.97. We have so much more wisdom from Father Wade Menezes on our website. Be sure to look through the books, videos, and CDs we have available on EWTNRC.com. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. Our website is safe and secure. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-854-6316. Call center hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much for being with us today on EWTN Religious Catalog, Father. It's been wonderful to have you joining me on the set and looking at so many beautiful products. Well, I want to thank you for having me on the set of EWTN Religious Catalog. It's been a, a joy to be here today. And I'd like to invite our viewers, Emily, to go to fathersofmercy.com to learn more about my community uh, located in Auburn, Kentucky, the Fathers of Mercy. And God bless your ministry, Father, and your priesthood. And God bless each of you at home. We'll see you soon.